Hey, so I've been playing Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and it is simple and good. Very good from a Star Wars perspective. As you guys probably know, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I kind of don't talk about it too much online anymore because of just how things be. But Lego Star Wars here really kind of reminded me of why I do love this stuff so much. And I think that's why it's probably gonna work for a lot of people. I think it's also gonna work for the people that grew up on these games. Now, I personally am like a little bit older, you know, like when, when, when it was really killing it on the PS2, I was playing big boy games like Shadow of the Colossus and stuff like that. But uh, I had siblings. I had, I had I have a younger brother and sister that absolutely love the games and I would carry them through it. And as someone who loves Star Wars, you know, it was like, it was no problem for me to do so. So I've been on these games for a while. My memory on some of them is, is a little fuzzy. It's been a minute, but they've always been good celebrations, good, weird, goofy recaps of the Star Wars games. And with how they've been doing these things more recently with voice acting and stuff, it does work perfectly here. So the big deal about this game is, number one, the fact that it's a new Lego Star Wars game. It's been quite a while. Uh, the fact that these games for a lot of people are like, their introduction to loving video games, their introduction to loving Star Wars. Uh, there's actually also like really good Lego Star Wars memes out there. That's besides the point. But the fact that this thing crams all the movies into one game, one experience, all the main trilogies, the prequels, the originals, and the sequels. So all the all the goods and bad parts, all the all the warts and all that is here. And if I, if anything, with the Lego style. It's all on a level playing field. It's all wacky and goofy from every single moment. And it kind of plays out some things, some plot parts are kind of cut short, but it kind of works as kind of like this, like you're playing through this greatest hits of the Star Wars movies with a bunch of open world padding. Now, if you watched my Before You Buy video on Game Ranks, I did go into that more a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of open areas for exploration and grinding and collecting that doesn't really affect the main playthrough. I'm not into that stuff, but I know people that love, love, love to 100% Lego Star Wars games. And they gave you like, like a staggering shit ton amount of it here. Like it is really like, it's almost it's almost too much. But uh, what I still really like besides all that stuff is just playing through this and how I realized it was kind of filling a void for me, like a Star Wars game void. Now I've talked about recently that it seems like Star Wars games are getting good again. And I stand by that. Now with Lego Star Wars, uh, with stuff like Squadrons, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, like we've recovered from the Battlefront 2 nonsense. But like, God damn it, like before that, there was like a lull. And then before that, there, there was like a bounty of Star Wars games. And this, like it kind of gives me a classic Rebel Assault vibes, like Rebel Assault 2 vibes with some of the corridor shooting and taking cover. And the new cover system kind of sucks, but whatever, it's the, the third person shooting over the shoulder is otherwise decent. Uh, then you have all the aerial battles and stuff, which also reminds me of Rebel Assault, but also Jedi Starfighter and a million of those other games. They're simple, but they're really, really well done here. Uh, specifically, one of my favorites is obviously the trench run and and then the assault on Starkiller Base, just good moments in the game. The Hoth battle's pretty decent, uh, which I have played in so many Star Wars games, but not in a long time. Like, I feel like the last time I played a good Hoth level playthrough was Rogue Squadron, uh, the GameCube one. Uh, so to have stuff like that again, that fills that void. Uh, then just the expanded combat and the melee options and stuff, and just running around Naboo and killing Trade Federation droids gives me Jedi power battle vibes. Not the biggest connection there in terms of gameplay, but just I will always take an excuse to think about Jedi power battles. What is wrong with me? But it's filled with a lot of really good in-jokes, some stuff that legitimately made me laugh, uh, some dumb over-the-top references and stuff like that. Uh, and then the voice actors, man, they got some good people here. They got Sam Witwer in it. They got Tom Kane as Yoda. They have the incredible James Arnold Taylor as Obi-Wan. Then they got Daniel Logan, uh, you know, young Boba Fett from the, the Attack of the Clones as Boba Fett, and they have Billy D. Williams doing his thing, and he does a really good job. There's more that I don't have time to name, but like between the cool voice acting that kind of gives new little spins on things uh, to the music just being John Williams' incredible music that's just always perfect and can make even the worst Star Wars game at least bearable. <laughs> And then just having so many deep cuts in terms of like stuff like unlocking characters. Like this game 
beats the record for the amount of ships and I think like 400 characters. Uh, the, every, like the amount of shit you can unlock is insane to mess around with in free to play mode. It is wild. Uh, to the, like you can, you can get like deep cuts like Yaddle or like deeper cuts like, like all the other Jedi Council members that nobody really cared about but me. And all these little hidden things hidden throughout the environment. Like I skipped some of the open environment exploration stuff just because I got bored of it and I just wanted to kind of see the main quests. I didn't really like the side quests, but there's still some good hidden stuff in there that I think is, is worth experiencing. Now, like if you've never played a Lego Star Wars game, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty simple. They're definitely for uh, younger audiences. This is not like a hardcore Star Wars game. I know I just threw out references of like Rebel Assault and Jedi Starfighter and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this is more of a thing that you're you're gonna play with your friend or or your kid or whatever. So it's a breeze to play through. I, I like knocked out all the campaigns and it's a, it's, a, it's a good decent amount of game for sure. But the moment that it did really click with me and I'm gonna get like soft for a second, the moment it clicked with me was that I had to, I had it, I was playing the review copy on Xbox Series X. So I dragged my Xbox Series X here to the office uh, to capture some co-op footage. And Andrew, uh, who works on us with videos and Andrew, you've probably heard him before. Uh, I sat him down real quick and handed him a controller uh, to just just play through a level with me. And we played through like the beginning uh, Naboo battle, uh, which is something that we had been doing for a very long time. We've done it in Lego Star Wars games. We've done it back to games like Jedi Power Battles and uh, the Obi-Wan game and the Phantom Menace game, like stuff that we did together or like watching each other. And, and just doing that again was cool and doing it together, old school split screen couch co-op, just really, I was like, oh yeah, video games are tight and Star Wars is tight. This is sick. So for me, this really just kind of filled the void, scratched that Star Wars game itch. Uh, it also just, uh, you know, serves, I think, as a good reminder that Star Wars is cool. I think some people really need that reminder sometimes uh, because you ever look at some comment sections? There's the ups and downs and whoever's doing what and when and, and why, whatever, but Star Wars and Lego Star Wars, I think is, is just a nice, wholesome, simple thing. And I really enjoyed just playing through like a greatest hits little like shortened version of my favorite movies and then unlocking shit and then going and messing around like taking the Slave One ship and driving it as a Tusken Raider and flying on planets that we it never would make sense for us to be on and getting more collectibles. It's grindy, it is a collect-a-thon, a lot of people like it and it's like, ugh, but like when you're just messing around and you're running around as Mace Windu with R4 or IG-88 and just doing dumb platforming and goofy stuff, it hits. In like a real simple, no BS, like get over yourself type of way. So I think if maybe you're a little younger than me and you have like even more nostalgia for the Lego Star Wars games, if you, if you grew up with them, I think you're gonna be in for a treat because this is just kind of like the, 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 the comprehensive package. It's like the whole umbrella. I know I use that phrase in the before you buy. I try not to like repeat what I say in those videos, give you a little bit more of a personal angle here. So that's where I'm at. Lego Star Wars. As this game is coming out and it's starting to roll out, maybe it's showing up for you, maybe you're deciding to jump into it, I wanna know what you're thinking. Maybe if you've just seen gameplay so far, I wanna know how you feel. I wanna know like your favorite Lego Star Wars memories if you played them, PlayStation, Xbox, GameCube, stuff like that. Remember the one that had a character creator? I really, I, I really like that, I miss that. They don't do stuff like that here, but that was really cool. So there's always something to talk about with the Lego Star Wars stuff, uh, so let me know. Let's talk about this stuff. And a huge thank you if you just came over here and watched this video. If you like what I'm trying to do here, I'm just talking about stuff I love, clicking the like button's all you gotta do. I would genuinely appreciate that. But also, thank you very much to the people who have had my back on Patreon and YouTube memberships. It goes a long way. Thank you guys. But I'm Jake Baldino. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe because video games, pizza's on me. And uh, may, the, may the force be with you. Can I, am I still allowed to say that?